Hands out of the shotgun. On second down and seven. Got pressure up the middle from Schumacher, and he's going to bring him down. Again, empty backfield for Hans from the shotgun. Hans wanted to run right away. You could see that developing. Terrell Washington able to bring him down. The setback is Carrie Davis. And they'll give it to Davis, the big bruising fullback up the middle. Gain of six on the play for the completion. Rocky Harvey checks in. And Kittner to throw. Kittner under pressure, and he's sacked. Here's the lone setback. Hans started the shotgun. Now sets on the center. And he'll hand it off to Rowe. He'll try the right side. The thing for the coaching staff. And Hans on first down and 10. It's Montrell Lowe staying on his feet. Some hard running by Montrell Lowe. Stratton, the big tight end in motion. Here's Hans under pressure. Set up the screen from Montrell Lowe. At the 30, 35, and he is bumped out at the 37-yard line since Hans was sacked on consecutive plays. They've run five plays in a row, and here's Hans under pressure. Avoids the sack and picks up some positive yardage. And he is tripped up at the 48-yard line. <laughs> Down 27 and nine in the third quarter a week ago. Hans again in all sorts of trouble. Took a big hit as he just tried to get rid of it. This is third and 22. And here's Hans, and there's the pressure. Hans will rough one up. And it is a jump ball. The lone setback, and they'll hand it off to the bruising fullback, and he'll bang ahead for four yards on the plate. Joe Odom made the stop. And they are coming. And the stop, Muhammad Abdullah came up on the pressure, and he's the man able to make the stop. Illinois came in third in the conference and sacked. It's a fake. It's a fake. 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 What a great play. That's Joe Odom, the middle linebacker. They say he runs well, and there's an example of it. Off the fake Joe Odom. Even. There's his hands extended. Maybe they should have been paying attention to that. He had his hands out. Great blocking at the point of attack, and Joe Odom, 6'2", 242-pounder, according to what they have, actually ran a 40 and 448. So they had a tremendous linebacker make a huge play for the Boilermakers. 52 yards off the fake punt for Joe Odom. And here's Hans, pumping and throwing, touchdown, Seth Morales. And they're on their feet as well. Here's Kittner to throw, he's got time, and he's picked off. Intercepted, Landon Johnson picks it off. See if they get the playoff before the quarter comes to an end, and they do. Hans under pressure, he's tripped up, it's gonna be another sack. 50-yard field goal. And Dorsch oh, has God. the leg, he's got it, oh, and that's some. That's what Travis Dorsch does. A 50-yard field goal by Dorsch. Hartman as well. So you're not figure to see a whole lot of turnovers today. Screen out to Brandon Lloyd. And he fumbles the football. And it's picked up. He's going to go. Bruno, down the sideline. Hands of Lloyd in any way. Reeves does a nice job of stripping. And remember, Reeves picked one up last week. Now he is he in, he's in bounds. There it is. The left foot was out of bounds. That's a good call by the official being right on top of us. But Purdue does come up with it. This is a great job by Gardner. So many times you see a guy fall on it. Right there, he picks it up. You saw the left foot at the 32-yard line. And here in the right guard position. Here's Hans throwing. Too high and too hard again for Taylor Stubblefield. His brother is 6'3 and 6'5. You're not going to get that anyplace else. Here's Kittner under trouble. He's pressured, throws it up, jump ball, and it's picked off. Intercepted. Back the other way. Gilbert Gardner, he's going to go, Steve. He's not going to step out this time. Gardner is dropped at the six-yard line. And they hand it off to Lowe, and Lowe is stopped. What an effort by the defense to break Kirk Kittner's records. As Kittner able to connect to Carrie Davis, the fullback out of the backfield. Guys for Purdue. Here's Kittner now to throw. He's got plenty of time. Throws across the middle. He's intercepted. Picked off. It's Stuart Schweiger down the sideline. Here's Travis Dorsch on for the field goal attempt from 37 yards. And that's easy after Dorsch earlier connected from 50. Thank you. We'll watch for Kittner. And he'll hand it off to Rocky Harvey, trying to right side, and breaks it! And he's into the secondary. Raised in the Champaign-Urbana area, where the Illini are from. Ball carrier is Rocky Harvey, another big game. Kittner all sorts of time, throws across the middle, cool and calm, able to complete.
to Walter Young. But this is a younger quarterback throwing three picks already in the first half. You wonder about them the rest of the game. Here's Lloyd. They try to hand it off. I don't know if Lloyd was going to think about throwing it or not in the nation. Very disciplined, but not so far today. Here's Brandon Lloyd in the open field. Completion, but not enough for the first down. He gets down to the 30, and this will be from 47 yards away to try to put Illinois on the board. Out of the hold from Fitz. Nice kick. Up and good. Six tackles coming into this kind of No snap, second and 25. Hans throwing on the run, and will they call it a catch? They will. Instead, Illinois has put themselves in a position for a second score. Second down and five. Again, Kittner gets good protection. Throws down the middle for Lloyd. Got it. Touchdown. Brandon Lloyd on the receiving end of the prettiest ball Kittner's thrown today. 48 yards and the score. On the inside, or when you're on the outside, turn it on the inside. He battles. He misjudges the ball. Lloyd is there. What a great throw by Kittner. Game. Hands to the shotgun. Stepping up, he's got some running room now, and he's thinking about that, and he's taken down from behind. And so here's Kittner now. Kittner will dump it off to Rocky Harvey. He's got the first down and more, trying to take the sideline. Harvey can fly. Schweiger trying to catch him, and he gets him. This will be from 32 yards away for Peter Christofalakos, who has yet to miss this season. The walk-on is nine for nine in field goals. And there it is, his first miss. Second down and five. He's got three receivers to his left, but Hans goes right. It's the first time we hear from Tim Stratton today. There's some, there's some confusion on the offensive line. Now they're set, and Hans, the quick throw, and able to complete to Taylor Stubblefield. This catch, did. I think it's the first time they threw in his direction there, Todd, in fairness to Stratton. As he cuts across the middle, able to complete it, Stubblefield again, and he's out to midfield. The Nittany Lions coming like a well-oiled machine all of a sudden. Hanks throwing and completing to Seth Morales, hit him right between the eight and the four. And they've made some adjustments. Now here comes the blitz. Hans trying to spit out of it, and in fact, he winds up running right into Jerry Schumacher from Travis Gorsh. And no good, must have come up just short. But now Illinois comes up with pretty good field position. Here's Kittner off the play action, he'll dump it off for Carrie Davis. And Davis taking some people on. This is fourth miss of the season, all from better than 50 yards. Kittner looking to air it out, got him in down the sideline, it's Walter Young. And another beautiful ball thrown by Kittner over the top. Here the Illini looking to at least tie, if not go up. They hand it off to Antonio Harris. And Harris is able to rumble down to the four-yard line. Give it to Antonio Harris, and he's in for the touchdown. And for the first time today, the Illini lead the game. Montreal Lowe doesn't have it. And the American Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. I wish all those men and women the absolute best. Christian Morton fumbles the football. And Purdue's got it. Not able to do it. And really right there, that, that constitutes a muff. That's not a fumble. So right there, he should not try and pick it up because he can't score with it anyway. Look at that. The ball squirts out. It's between the legs. There's the scramble, and there's Odom right on top. He's able to wrestle it away. Fifth turnover of the game for Illinois. And they're winning. Here's Hans taking it up the middle. And he's tripped up. Of your screen for Hans. They come with the pressure. Hans gets it away. And Stratton couldn't hang on. And it's intercepted by Bobby Jackson. Down the sideline. Beats Hans. He's going to go. He's going to go all the way. Bobby Jackson. 82-yard interception return for a touchdown. Three receivers, top of your screen to the left of Hans. Coming with pressure. Hans can't escape it. Six sacks in the game. And here's Hans. Now with all sorts of time. And he's going to be taken down again. To move up to number seven all time. Big Ten passing yards. And might he just have it there? He does. Courtesy of Brandon Lloyd who went up. Lloyd is so good. Watch Woodyard here. He bites on the face. Gets past Woodyard. But here comes Turner. But Turner has no chance because he's looking the other direction. And Lloyd with just very graceful Bambi-like move. Myself. 
Here's Kicker now. On third down, here's Lloyd. Went up to make the grab with his hands, and he is down at the 11. Gain of 23, Dave. Jeff Zaganina. He's up at the St. Louis Rams. Complete to Walter Young. Touchdown, Illinois. It's coming, and so as soon as he knows that, he knows where to go to. He goes to Young underneath. Odom is a little bit overmatched. And Young shows a little bit of vertical on his own, getting over the top. The number one seat of the senior quarterbacks to go likely in the NFL upcoming draft. Oh, and a heavy hit in their friend today. Here's third and nine, pressure up the middle. Hans avoids one tackle, now on the run, and throwing and completing. Move the chains, and on first down, here's Hans. Stepping up and firing, hitting Tim Stratton. Another first down. Up to this point, only 213 yards. Illinois bringing people, and it's picked off. Intercepted. It's Christian Morton down the sideline. And touchdown. 65 yard return for Christian Morton for 40 yards. Kyle Orton, and he fumbles the snap out of the shotgun for the Boilermakers. Third down and two. Orton had his pass batted up in the air and knocked away. Strongest offensive lineman in the conference. There are a lot of strong offensive linemen in this conference. Kittner nearly picked off. Replacing plan at Hans, who was ineffective but did not get a whole lot of help. And now Orton's going to be taken down from behind. Ten from the shotgun. Pressure from Wilson. Going to fumble the football. And it's recovered by Illinois. Of Indiana. Right here. And having himself a ball game. Rocky Harvey, the ball carrier. Game of two on the play. Third down and six. Kittner airing it out and intercepted. For the fourth time today. And it's Jacques Reeves who's got that one. 53.2 yard average. One punt under 50. And that was for 47. Antonio Harris, the ball carrier, who the coaches told us they wanted to get more physical in some of the skilled positions. If I fall into that category. Three for 17 on third down conversions. They get it there. So they're fourth this afternoon. Sporting can't handle that snap, and he'll just fall on it. Looking forward to return there. And wow. Orton is wrecked. Just dropped in a big way in the backfield by Jamal Clark. Coming up on three minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Hand off to Carey Davis. And he's taking on some people very close to the first down marker. Over Wisconsin and Purdue, they've proved themselves to be a Big Ten power. Hand off. Should have enough for the first down, and I am sure Joe Tiller told us still haven't had a breakout game, and he's not going to get it today. On the other side, Steve, you'd have to say that this has been a breakout game for Illinois, not just the victory, but beating a very difficult opponent at home. Remember, their home record was 24-3, and now 24-4. and 